Do plummeting oil prices spell doom for clean energy companies? I'm Julia Piper and this is Rewired from Green Tech Media. In recent months, there's been some confusion around oil and renewable electricity, so let's set the record straight. Oil prices collapsed in the latter part of 2014. Brent crude, a global benchmark, recently hit a six-year low, falling by more than half between June of last year and January 2015. Over the same period, stock prices for renewable energy companies took a nosedive. This spring, both the price of oil and stock prices for renewable energy companies have edged back up. But there's no denying these two market segments were synced during the downward trend. So what's going on here? Poor stock performance usually reflects a weak market, but global investments in clean energy projects led by solar, wind, battery storage, and energy efficiency totaled a record $310 billion last year, according to Bloomberg New Energy Finance. Apparently, there are some things investors don't understand about energy markets. They're conflating oil with electricity, when the two very seldom intersect. In the US, oil is primarily used as a transportation fuel, and to a smaller extent is used to heat homes. But oil is almost non-existent in America's power sector, making up just 1% of electricity generation. Meanwhile, hydro, wind, solar, biomass, and geothermal together make up more than 14% of US electricity generation. And that's not even factoring in small solar projects under one megawatt, which is one of the fastest growing energy sectors. Plummeting oil prices will be bad for these technologies if they were competing, but in most cases, they just aren't. Now, there is some crossover. In developing countries and remote islands, diesel is often used for electricity generation. But even here, solar is consistently beating oil-based fuels on cost. In most markets, renewables are really competing with coal and natural gas. The industry is also affected by federal and state tax credits, how regulators set electricity rates, and policies allowing access to the grid, none of which are directly related to the price of oil. There is one technology that could be hurt by cheap oil, and that's the electric vehicle. Low gas prices make charging your car with electricity less attractive and make gas guzzlers look more affordable. How this trend plays out for EVs in the long run as consumer preferences change is unclear. What we do know is that cheap oil does not affect market fundamentals for fast-growing clean technologies like solar, wind, efficiency, and battery storage. The stock sell-off is based on an outdated understanding of how energy markets work. Analysts at the financial services company Raymond James called the oil-driven pullback a totally irrational reaction that offers a buying opportunity. Savvy investors are likely to take advantage. This is Rewired. Thanks for watching. Thank you.